Gruppe. Again, I'm looking at the old outcasts and the Forsaken here. And as in one of our videos, I was saying that the outcasts have got the best shooting in the game. And the Forsaken here will struggle to deal with it if they just march directly across the board towards them. Because they'll shoot down all the stuff and you maybe probably won't end up with your Warwind. The way I see it dealing with this is make the Forsaken or make the sorry outcast come to you. These models are all ba all fine. The beans and the coils are fine, but your main one here is your little lady, the Warwind. She's great. She's got three action points. She's got a heavy pistol that has a KP10. I'll explain that in a minute. But a heavy pistol with a rate of fire of two. She's got four actions and she moves as three inches each time. Two health points. She's good, she is. The main thing I try to do with her is get into a position like this where she is the furthest forward model. The rest of your stuff's further back, which means that if the scouts here or the uh, Wasteland Warriors come forward to take a shot, she is the target priority. She's, and the thing is here, if it's your scouts, especially the scouts, uh, she's got hard cover behind the big rocks. They're minus four in the target score. She's uh, just over eight inches away. So they're minus six on their target score. And then whenever you look, she has a defense of two and they have an attack score of three. So they're only in five and they're already at minus six. The odds of actually getting her getting any damage on her are very slim slim even if you look at your wasteland warriors i've got her behind hard cover here they could even move forward slightly more that they're trying to only be minus one if they're slightly less than eight you do each one at a time here there's a couple that are at seven but again defense of two and the wasteland warriors uh is four again they're minus four Minus five, they're needing ones. You know, all three of them shooting, the odds of getting a one is very, very slim. She is great for that there because if you can make her the target priority and try and put her in, that she is the only one in the unit that they're probably going to have to have range to or they're going to have an opportunity to shoot, it's not going to work. It's going to bounce off. They're going to be looking ridiculously low numbers ones twos threes probably and it's just not going to work after all that there she has an armor of 18 so she's a good chance of even shrugging it off after all that probably knowing the odds if you do hit her you're going to roll you're going to pretty much need to roll a one now on the converse you may say well her hiding behind a big rock isn't really a lot of good but it she is a lot of good she has four action points. So the, the one tactic I have for her, she moves around there. She can move uh, three inches in her movement. Moves around here. Her pistol has a rate of fire of two. She has an attack score of six. And most of these guys, the, all the rest of them, they are, the scouts have a defense of four, the warriors five, the bane six, and the bully four. Now she can come around here, for me, I, if I was trying to just stop the shooting, if I thought the outcasts weren't going to come to me, I would have a punt at the Warriors going, the Warriors have a defense of five, I have a tax score of six, so an 11, which I get, and her pistol has a power of six, so Wasteland Warrior with an armor 14 needs an eight to survive, which he fails to do. There's one Warrior gone. I'll do that shooting again. Oh, fails, but on her last one, she comes back around, stands back here. At this point, you may go, ah, well, I'll send the brute or the bully forward to fight her, you know. But her, her pistol has got a KP and basically knocked prone value. So she, 
she could come around the corner here and go one shot at him, one shot at him, shoot at the bully. Oh, an 18's never gonna work, but say she gets a hit. As soon as she gets a hit, you have to test to see if you're not prone. Even if she fails to wound him, the odds is good. Uh, even if she fails to wound him, you can knock the brute and the bully prone and get back round behind your piece of terrain. This board here has got lots of terrain. I think this game needs lots of terrain because you want to be getting as many of them modifiers in and you want to be trying to negate as many of them modifiers as possible. For me, she's a bit like the one guy holding off the pass. She can do it by herself, hold back the other army, knock them prone as often as possible and pick off and kill, hopefully two shots, kill one person each round of shooting that leaves the rest of your army, really. I would keep these back. You may decide to use your coils to try and get some other shooting in as well. Because they have actions and what not to do. But for me, I would be trying to use all of these to defend her as much as possible because she can win the game for you all by herself as far as I'm concerned. She can do it all. She has great defense, great armor, great shooting. Probably the best character in all these starter box sets tell me what you think stick some comments on below i'll get on and i'll get a look at some of the other armies <laughs>